Hello, hello. Hi. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Um, do you listen to me? Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, it's a great pleasure to greet you on uh, this beautiful, beautiful night. Also, getting ready to learn English and practice. So, how was your? I would. I want to know how was your. How was your day? Was good. How was it? How was your day? Yes, it was good. A little busy, but good. Uh, a little busy. Yeah, something's happening, right? Because we have like a very, um, very busy time. And I know that. But the most important thing is that we are ready to, to learn and practice. So welcome to everyone. It's definitely a good time to show that we are ready to learn a lot. Okay, there are some students joining right now the class, and that is the, something interesting. Remember that every every time we have the opportunity to do our best in in our classes. So welcome everyone. Uh, we feel I feel really excited to be here with you. Also because in every class we always learn, we always uh, practice, we always work and maximize our skills in every class, no matter what. Let's see. Well, so let's get ready. I, I will send uh, the, the presentation. I couldn't send it before, and uh, but I'm going to do it right now. So if you want to yeah, follow the exercises in this thing. Um, and uh, well, so more students joining. One second, check in here. More students joining. Okay. Let's see. One second, 12, 12, 12, yes. I think it is. Checking, yes, that's correct, that's correct. I'm sending the presentation in the group so you can have it and also you can follow the exercises that we're doing here. One moment, please. And I will share my screen in the class over here. Okay, well, more students joining the class. And uh, yesterday, we have a very interesting topics. I want to ask you, what do you remember we studied? Who wants to help me to respond? Yes? Okay, who wants to tell me what we studied yesterday? Hello? Yesterday, uh, teacher, we saw a video that we can see a program or a training on the on at the at a university is Hamburger University. When the objective or uh, about the training was uh, prepare um a the a good managers for for the future and we we talk we was talking we were talking about uh, that that is a good idea for the 
for the universities on those in El Salvador. And, and we studied uh, about the com the special commas. I don't know. And, and we was we were pra practicing. We were practicing uh, listening listening audios. Uh, just that. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Kevin. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we, th there was something very interesting related to, to comma spliced. We were uh, like giving some rules about comma spliced and we will have a short feedback. Uh, because at this level, we had to um, understand that um, there, there are some priorities when we use punctuations like uh, uh, question mark, admiration, and then some others like a commas, semicolon, etc. And uh, we will continue talking about a comma spiced. And we'll start with the first presentation and I want to share with you this one. And well, so we were talking in the last class, as Kevin said, about a comma spliced. And uh, it says, uh, look at examples in the box and then complete the exercise below. A comma spice occurs when a writer has connected two main clauses with a comma alone. Yes, and um, the problem looks like this. Main closed and main closed. We can actually see the main closed and the main closed. Example, we had two sentences that were incorrect. Uh, training is very important, comma. Employees and managers don't want to do training. Uh, training presents a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge based of all employees, comma, many employers in the current climate to find development opportunities expensive. So we are forcing the comma to have a different idea. So meanwhile, the most recommendable is to use a period and then continue with the next sentence. So the two ideas are connected, but separated by the period. And in the other cases, what you can do is to separate the sentence or phrase by the comma, plus a coordinated conjunction like nor, on, but, for, and, uh, and. So that's what we call coordinated conjunctions. That is the way. Look at the example. Um, we have the period plus the capital letter. The error can be broken into, into two separate sentences. What we said yesterday, the incorrect was training is very important, comma, employees and managers don't want to do training, period. The correct would be uh, training is very important, period. We finished the sentence. We highlighted that the training is important. It's a necessity. Employees to or and managers don't want to do training, want to do training. So in that case, this is the second sentence or the second idea. And we understand that part. That, that would be the best way in that case. And then we have the part B, the comma plus coordinated conjunction. In that case, we don't need to use the period, but we use a comma and we add to connect the two ideas, the coordinated conjunctions. We were saying that. Uh, and used for and uh, nor but or yet so. So we, we also have the coordinated conjunctions for and nor but or yet so. So we, we understand that part. And we saw the incorrect sentence. Training is very important, comma. Employees and managers don't want to do training, period. But the best way would be, uh, because in the previous one, we used the period. In this case, we will use comma plus the coordinated conjunction. Training is very important, comma, but, so you can see being cursive, but, 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 coordinated conjunction. Employees and managers don't want to do training. So the sentence is not forced using a comma because we use a comma and we use another connector that we call coordinated conjunction. And that is like one of the examples we have here. That's what we said yesterday. And we can see uh, an example. Um, I'm not angry with you, comma, 
I'm not happy with you, comma, either. So, comma, then another idea, comma, and this one. What I would say, using the correct form, I'm not angry with you. We can also check that one. It could be a period. But I'm not happy with you. But, you can see the word but. But is a coordinator conjunction. Look. That's why we have the comma. And the sentence now has a different context. I'm not angry with you, comma, but, so giving a kind of instructions, I'm not happy with you either. So I just, she, this person wants to qualify using a coordinated conjunction, like CC. Okay, look at the next one, next sentence. Look at this one. I'm not angry with you, um, yeah, kind of semicolon. I'm not happy with you either. Mm -hmm. So it actually is, is uh, kind of this one, it's actually the same. And I'm thinking of skipping English class, comma. I'm thinking of skipping English class. You know, some students did that in the past. Some uh, classmates, they try to skip classes. So I'm thinking of skipping English class. It's pretty really boring. And you say the correct form. I'm thinking of skipping English class, a semicolon, and the coordinated conjunction. It's really boring. So we connected the ideas in that case in the sentences. So that's why the comma is spliced is really important because we can separate ideas and we are not forcing to read the sentence without pauses because the commas are the natural po po pauses, especially when we're reading an article in English. So it's important because we can breathe. We can also make pauses to understand because if, well, we wouldn't have this one, that would be kind of hard for us to do that. Well, so let's continue with the next, let's see. I need to clean this. This it's right there. Okay, look at the next one. We were saying yesterday, um, as a feedback, that we say training presents a prime opportunity to expand the knowledge base of all employees. But many employers in the current climate find uh, development opportunities expensive. So we said that we had to use a period and the other recommendation was to use a uh, capital letter and say, employees employee attending training sections also miss out on work time, which may delay the completion of projects. So in that case, we had to separate the two ideas because we're very long by a period and the next word starts with a, with the capital letter. Now, I want you to help me to complete the next part. So what are the benefits? You say training until here. Oh, training will give you, the, will give the, the employee a greater understanding on their responsibilities. Within their role, any turn turned with will build their confidence. Okay, I want you to read and see if you can change or not, because we had to read the following article and identify and correct for commas spliced. If you say teacher, but in this sentence, being honest, I think that we don't need to change the comma because for me, it's okay. So I will give you a time, a briefly way to uh, try to select if the sentence is correct or not.
Okay, the, the next one, uh, what do you think? It's, uh, do you consider that you need to change the, the coma or not? Check. Okay, so help me with the next one. Training will give the employee a greater understanding on their responsibilities uh, within their role. And, uh, and it turns, it will build their confidence. What do you think about this? This sentence? My opinion, teacher, I, I leave just one comma before N. Just one. Because it's a conjun coordinating conjunction and uh, roll comma and I eliminate the, the second comma and turn it will build their confidence. I think it's, I'm not sure, but this is in my opinion. Exactly. That that's one. And uh okay, uh there is something else that we need to change in this sentence. So it says that uh, the great understanding on their responsibilities within their world and uh, comma, and it turned, it will build their confidence. In that case, the second comma, it, it is unnecessary because we don't need to use another comma because we have it before the coordinated conjunction N. But also if we go at the beginning of the sentence, say training will give the employee employee a greater understanding on their responsibilities we're talking about plural here so the plural will be emplo the employees right there's one mistake here whereas they didn't add the 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 est because we're talking about plural the employees their responsibilities their role and their confidence Okay, so we can check the sentence, um, also the correct form, um, because we're using appropriately the coordinated conjunction and. Is that okay? Any comment? No? Is that okay for you guys? Say yes or not, please. Okay, let's move to the next sentence. It says training, we'll start here. Training also creates a supportive workplace. Employees may gain access to training they wouldn't have otherwise known about or thought out themselves. So specifically this point, look at this this sentence. I will give you a moment to check and also correct.
Okay, are you ready to check the next sentence? Yes or not? Can you tell me? Are you ready to check the next sentence? Yes, no, tell me. Are you ready, Kevin? Uh, really not, teacher. Okay, okay, T take a short time to check it. All right, check the sentence again, don't worry. Teacher, in that case, I think that we need to change the comma for a period and we need to use the capital letter for the employees. Okay, so we can also check. So let's see, right? Let's see now. Okay, training also creates and supported workplace employees may gain access to training they wouldn't have otherwise known or thought out themselves. Okay, so who wants to help me to check? Remember that the main goal is that we can also, you know, feel confident to, uh, to respond following the instructions. It's always necessary to check this part. Okay, I think it's the time. Training also create a supported workplace. Employees may gain access. What is the first uh, mistake or something that you would like to change? As a Kevin says, Miss T-shirt, that the, uh, the workplace is. The training also creates a supportive workplace is the first sentence. Period less capital letters say Kevin. Okay. Excellent. Like this. We will simulate. That is an <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, because we're using this one. So the training also creates a supportive workplace. Period. Because we we have a sentence, it's okay. Employees may gain access to training they wouldn't have otherwise known about Come or on. so out themselves. I mean, the idea is, is very understandable. But okay. comma is comma and after about because or is a coordinated conjunction. Uh, about is not a coordinated conjunction. Or, but or is a coordinated conjunction. Mm-hmm. And about comma. Otherwise or known about. Comma. Here. That's like this. Or thoughts out themselves. And that will be a comma because or is a coordinated conjunction. So we have three ideas. A training also creates a supportive workplace, period. Employees may get access to training they wouldn't have otherwise known about. Comma or thought out themselves. We have three ideas: first, second, and the third one. 
and we have completed this exercise about training. You can see, we, we can also check how important commas are, and we know a word we use commas to separate ideas or phrases. Let's continue with the next exercise. I'm gonna erase here and we go to the next one. It says, uh, productivity usually increases when a company implements the training courses. Increased efficiency in processes will ensure project success. Well, so it's a, a very interesting uh, sentence. So I will give you a short time to check the prior exercise, and then we will compare together. Let's go. Um, I see the the sentence is correct, teacher. I don't know, really. Okay, thank you. So we're gonna check if the we need to make a change or not. But okay. for you, in that case, is correct. Yes, for me, is is correct. The okay, okay, that's okay. Okay, ready now? Yes? No, no? Uh, Jose Carlos? Um, At the moment, I am processing. Okay, that's okay. All right, take your time. Okay, take your time.
Okay, so let's check the answers and um, we'll see. Productivity usually increases when a company implements training courses, increase efficiency in processes, will ensure project success. So what, what do you think? Do you think it's correct? Do you think that we need to separate it by a comma in a coordinated conjunction or separate uh, the sentence by a period? So what do you think of be? Kevin says that the sentence may be correct. So, but we also have to analyze if the sentence it's appropriate according to the instructions that we have seen in the class and that we have uh, produced actively. So what do you think, guys? I need a uh, couple of comments so we can also see if we are in the right path or not. Or we need to go back to the, to the instructions and see what can we do to understand. So that is important. Uh, that's why for me it's necessary that you can give your personal opinion about this, this exercise. Teacher, in my opinion, I think that we need a and uh coordinate conjunction and and between course and increase i think that i'm not sure in this maybe sense. yeah and this part yeah i think okay productivity usually increases when a company implements training courses comma mm -hmm. so increase efficiency efficiency in process maybe <laughs> i'm not sure <laughs> okay it's okay it's an idea so you do you consider that so could be a good uh coordinated conjunction you recommend you suggest that uh, so could be a good choice yes it's in my opinion i think that a course comma so increase efficiency in process will ensure project success Okay, let's see what happened if we add so. And uh, you can tell me, guys, if you consider that we can use this coordinated conjunction. Remember that in the rule, we have uh, um, so, yet, or, but, nor, etc. So in that case, productivity usually um, increases when a company implements training courses, so increase efficiency. In processes, will ensure project success. So what do you think? It's okay for you guys, it's incorrect, or we need to separate it by a period. So what do you think? I need your opinions because if you understand, that's good for me. But if you don't understand and you get, you stay quiet, that's a problem because you you don't know and I cannot help you because you, you say nothing about it. So that's why it's important that you can participate actively. Now, as remember that here in the class, we are students, we are practice practitioners. We practice, we are not viewers because a viewer is someone that is only watching. So we are um, the most important here. So you cannot only watch, you need to practice. So in that case, what do you think?
Okay, it's okay for you, students. I listen only Mirna and the rest quiet entirely. So that's why I'm asking you. Okay, in that case, we can check here that um, that soul could be a good choice because we connect two ideas and also we talk about productivity and increase efficiency processes uh, will get uh, better opportunities to succeed. So if this is a good way. Congratulations to Myrna because she gave um, the, the possibility uh, to form this statement using the comma slide. slide. That is uh, awesome. Well, let's see the last one, uh, the last one from this part. It says training also makes the company more attractive to potentially recruits. These are people who seek to improve their skills and the opportunities associated with those new skills. You can also check, right? And we can see also this opportunity. I want you to take a short time also to um, to respond and tell me the reasons why do you think if we can change or not the comment. And also don't forget to have the camera on. I want to congratulate those uh, Manuel, Sufrido, Kevin, Mirna, Jose, because they have the microphone on. Remember that uh, Juan Carlos Eater, and uh, remember that when we started this first, we read the instructions about having the camera on because in support checks everything, participation, checks that you are actively in a class, checks that your attendance list, that you stay the 120 minutes in the class, no less than that. So that's why they are monitoring you in order that you stay here with us in the class this day. Thank you.
Okay, let's see the next sentence. Well, we're going to check. So you can help me. Uh, training also makes a company more attractive to potential new rec recruits. Um, these are people who seek to improve their skills and the opportunities associated with those new skills. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Do we separate the two sentences or we use comma plus a coordinator conjunction? What do you think? Tell me, tell me, give me any idea or something that you try to understand or you understand so we can also check that is appropriate or not in the sentence. We analyzed uh, the sentence according to what you tell me. So remember that is practice. Hey, maybe we need a coordinated conjunction and uh, after okay. the the recruits com comma coordinated conjunction. Okay, let's see. Uh, what um coordinated conjunction do you consider that we can match? Maybe n. Uh, and these are people. Yes, and these are people to seek to improve their skills. Who seek? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like an opportunity to use and, right? Yes, for me, is is my, is my suggestion. Okay, thank you. What do you think, guys, according to what Kevin said? In my opinion, teacher, the first comma is okay, and we need to add the, the second comma and after a skill because we have a conjunction and N is a coordinating conjunction. I think that we have three sentences in the... Okay. This is in my opinion. I'm not sure. In my opinion. So training also makes a company more attractive to potential new recruits. Coma. Mm -hmm. These are people who seek to improve their skill, coma, and the opportunity associated with those new skill, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is another opportunity to. It's a good idea, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, in the first auction, uh, what. Um, because we're using and also, this is a coordinated conjunction. So training also makes a company more um, attractive to potential recruits, comma. These people, these are people who seek to improve their skills, comma, and the opportunity associated with those new skills. That's great. Let me close here in a second. So then we have and comma, because it's a different idea. So in that case, after skills, we had to use a comma and the opportunities associated with those new skills. So you can see three ideas, like the training also makes a company more, more attractive to potential recruits, comma, it's good. These are people who seek to improve their skills, comma, and the coordinated conjunction and the opportunities and opportunities associated with those new skills. I think it's okay. That is a good way to uh, separate the sentence and add in comma to make the poses when speaking. That is a good strategy, especially when we're talking about speaking. So that is good. And congratulations for the work done. So you can see in this example that we are like separating the main ideas by using comma. So this is the, the difference that when we study English formally, because having the people 
learn English, but no using grammar structures. So the grammar structures can help us in that way to speak English in a formal way, to speak English in the appropriate way and not informal as um, some people, they learn English when they are exposed outside or where they are studying. Okay, let's continue with the next activity. We have a listening exercise, but before I need to check the first 10 list. I know that it's important that all of us stay here. And remember that in this course, we need to get the a specific number of minutes to pass the course. One moment, please. Let's check attendance, attendance list here. We click in this side. Let's see. Check, check, check. Let's move to. Let me see. One second, guys. Okay, uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Is Carlos Alberto here? not here. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Emerson. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Jose? It's not here. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Josman. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Nelson. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Osman. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Uh, Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Uh, Mirna. Present. Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Manuel. Present teacher. Thanks. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's right here. Okay, one second. Oh, there's one of the students that wrote in the chat. Let's see. It's here. So don't forget, guys, that you have to say present. You have to activate the microphone and say present. Uh, remember that this is one thing. You have to be heard. So if you are here, you say activate the microphone, teacher, present here. First. Okay, let's see. Oops. 
saying? Change. Okay, let's let's continue with the first next part of the class. So we have a listening exercise. We'll listen the following conversation, then we'll take a short time to listen and try to select the best answer for each one. Look at the first one. According to the speaker, it, how the father talks about the movie. So he gives there are three adjectives to describe the movie. You have to think which one is the best answer according to the conversation. Number two, listening to the speaker, whose performance do father and daughter agree upon in the movie? So you had to analyze and choose the best answer in this case. We have three choices. I want you to check the choices. Next, listening to the speakers, the father disagrees with his daughter about the movies. What? Check the three possible choices and select the best one. The next one. What kind of movies is this? What kind of movies is this? And also you can check the three possible answers according to the listening point. And the last one is where does the conversation take place? You can see the three possible choices and check what is the best part. So right now I'm going to send you the audio. So you can also check, listen, and select the best answer. And at the same time, I'm going to uh, share. I will, I will take a picture so you also can see the conversation in the chat too. One moment, please. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, are, are you ready? Uh, do I send you the audio? Yes. Let's check. Okay, I'm sending you right now, so please uh, let me know if you can see it. See this one. Okay, please let me know if you can see the audio in the chat. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's yes, okay. Thank you, guys. You can start now. If you allow me one moment, I'm going to stop uh, sharing my screen for a moment because I need to check a file uh, related to this listening part. So, but you also can check in the in the group the questions. Good luck.
Okay, uh, are you ready? I think yes. Yes, ready. I think. Okay, so let's see what happens. So we're gonna check um, the exercise. Actually, it's very interesting. It's like kind of very accessible um, according to the speakers. Someone else is ready too? Please let me know because I need to make sure that, that we are at, you know, uh, working in the same rhythm and working at the same time, but also I respect, you know, if we have worked, um, completed the exercise or not. So someone else is ready or you or you're still working? Yes, teachers, I'm ready. Okay, so let's see what happened here with the first one. Well, uh, according to the first one, and um, how they talk about the movie, so what, what, the, what they think about the movie. Absurd. Absurd. Okay. Yeah, it's like not, not at all. So he didn't like enjoy it, uh, suspected, right? So it, this movie was not what they were looking for or what they expected. So that could be. Um. Well, according to this conversation, uh, whose performance do father and daughter agree upon the movie, in the movie? The communication officer. The captain. The captain. Yes. They what? The captain. The captain. The captain. The captain. Now, did they mention this in the conversation? I think they only mentioned the communications officer. I agree with the freedom. In that case, is the doctor because they mentioned about at the end, right? Uh, was amazing as the, this is the adjective that was used to describe this character. That case we talk about the doctor in the number two. Because the question is that, uh, listen up, whose performance do father and daughter agree? They agree upon in the movie. So they agree about that, about the character. And the next one is listening to the speakers. Um, the father disagree with his daughter about the movies. What? For of the acting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so they didn't like the people of the act in the movie. So that's why one of the things that they criticized, like they didn't agree about the way how they were acting. So bad about the movie. Okay, next. Let's see. And what kind of movie is this? Science fiction. Exactly. That was the one. Yes. And the last one, where does the conversation take place? I'm the Haver House, I think, I think, but I'm not sure. Okay. Can you see the movie theater and the father? Uh, the speaker phone. And also at the end of the conversation, they mentioned the location. They mention where they are. So that's why it's very simple. What was that? Home or they yes. mentioned, yeah, they mentioned the behavior, but maybe they, they are in at home. <laughs> yes, at home. That's right. Because perhaps later they were so tired and then decided to go back to bed. They say, you know what? Let's go to sleep, right? Or something like that. So in that case, the answer is they are in their home. So that is the answer is about this one. Was easy or a difficult conversation? What do you think? 
easy but confused. <laughs> and the second one it was confused because they mentioned capital and communication officer. I ne I I I'm not I not hear the doctor. <laughs> okay. Yeah, with working with listening can help you a lot to listen carefully. And then you will become experts listening people, especially the with different accents or the speed or the way they communicate actively. So that's why it's, it's recommendable all the time yeah. listen people speaking English. So perhaps at the beginning for some of you it was like, you know, I don't understand some things about a conversation. But during the time, during the class, you get more familiar with the accent. You get more familiar with some expressions, so you will understand even better than the beginning. So it's a process. Well, let's see the next one. We have uh, the following uh, conversation. Um, you will uh, read the following conversations. I'm going to share the one second, please. The picture about this conversation. If you allow me one moment, please. I'm going to move it over here. So look at the chat because I will share here the the conversation. It's over here. One second. Just give me one second. I'm going to look for the audio for this conversation and I will share with you this part. One moment, please. Let's see. Okay, I'm sending you right now the audio, so uh, check in, um, let's see, like one minute or less than that. So you, you listen and check the following uh, questions. And after that, we're going to socialize the answers together. Let's go then.
Okay, are, are you ready? Yes? Are you ready, guys? You finished? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So, well, students, let's check the answers. You can also help me with that. And um, I just want to ask you, was it a very easy or a difficult conversation according to your personal experience? How was it? Was good? Was bad? Was easy to understand the conversation? Uh, a little easy. bit difficult, teacher, really, for me. Confusion. Okay. So what's uh, a little complex in comparison to the previous one? I need to hear uh, each audio like three, <laughs> three, three times. Three, three times, correct. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so there are sometimes some challenging conversations. First, depending on the topic, also the speed and also the content, right? Because sometimes we, we listen to some conversations about some specific topics that we understand easily. So when we listen, we compare it and we understand some point about it. Well, so let's go check the first one. And the number one, what is the possible answer? Stop employing some workers. That's correct. Yes. 
Uh, yeah, stopping them. Yes, stopping them. Great job. Number two, what about the second one? Pick up a book. Pick up a book. book. Okay, pick up. Yeah, pick up. Pick up. Yeah, pick up. Yes. And the next one, what is the next one? Help me with the next. Not cut in on a conversation. Okay. Not in the conversation. All right. So let's see that. Excellent. Not cut in on a conversation. That try. Right. That is the correct answer. Let's see the next one. What is the next one? Help me with that. The point. Sorry, sorry. Let me check that one. I think is that we need to check the one moment, please. Um, I think we got a difficulty with this one and look at the next one and let's see. According to the final point, right? What was the, you know, the, ex the experience and issues in their lives? They want others to, their problems. What is that? They don't want to share. Do you say share? Yes. Mm -hmm. There is an old, <laughs> maybe so. Or they. Yeah. In that... <laughs> yeah. In the, some people who experience <laughs> issues in the leaves. I don't, don't listen. To... I don't listen anyway. Yeah. <laughs> in that case, it's Me, yeah. Don't one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Which one? Which one? It's um sold in that case. So mm -hmm. wow. yes. Sold, sold, right. Next. And the last one. The last one is what is the last one? They need going a trip couple days. <laughs> Uh, there is one is the information in the book ex ex exactly discuss yes discuss this information that's correct great job for that that is the good all right congratulations guys and also we have the opportunity to practice we'll listen this the conversation and we go with the last activity for this class and we're going to be socializing some information and then the breakup rooms. It says pair work, design a basic need, needs assessment instrument, or questionnaire chart, or equations to guide a needs assessment analysis session to identify the specific training personnel needs injured department administer this instrument to at least five of your co-workers process the information collected with the instrument and identify the top three training needs identified by your co-workers so this is the needs instrument assessment instrument you can see some examples task that you are expected to perform in your position. The next one, list the skills you like to um, hunt or list the training options. List the current skills you have that allow you to perform the task that your position demands. And the next one is like, how will 
your performance improve after the training? How will your optimized performance will benefit the organization? This is what we call needs assessment instrument. So those are examples because it says that we're gonna be working in pairs and we have to design this needs assessment instrument. And, but what it could be a questionnaire, could be a chart or questions to guide a needs assessment analysis sections. So for example, in the group, in the group number four, they will think about questions. Can you give me a question, uh, needs assessment instrument? Okay. Are you complete with the personal in your apartment, in your department? Because sometimes people complain that there are only few people working in the, in the same positions and the positions require more employees. That will be one example. A list of the, pos of the instruments that you have to develop your work. So you have to use um, this needs assessment instrument. You will add more questions after that you do it with your partner, you will socialize these questions because after you have it, you have to administer this instrument to at least five of your coworkers. And in that case, we're going to do it in our groups. So you have to process the information collected uh, according to the questions that you will develop. So two parts, first, what I want you to do is to think about other questions that you can use to add in this needs assessment instrument. You can add the questions that you consider will help you to talk about the people's needs or classmates needs. After you have the questions, you will work with other partners and you will ask these questions to practice. And your classmate will answer the questions according to his or her experience. And then we will socialize this uh, needs assessment instrument. So right now I'm going to create the breakup room and you will uh, work with a partner and you will add more questions to this needs assessment instrument. Okay. Is that clear what we had to do? Is that clear for you guys? Yes, sir. We have to decide that the that the, the needs assessment instrument according that this um, square or points or this this point yes the in the in the issues square that we have yeah those are examples but you can also add more questions could be a questioner a chart or questions to guide a needs assessment analysis section so you have to identify the specific training personnel needs in your department um, mm -hmm. so you can add more questions you can agree with your partner and you say what questions can we add why don't we add this question? Okay, uh, and you write, take notes about the question. What about this question? Is okay to evaluate the needs? Yes, of course. So you can add more details, more questions, more questions to this instrument. After you have uh, selected some questions that you consider appropriate, I will move you to different groups and you will start interviewing your classmates with the questions you have. That's what we had to do. Okay. So for this, I'm going to send you to the breakup rooms. No more questions? Okay, well, so be ready because I will need that everybody participate in this activity because we're going to socialize each other. So you cannot stay here as a viewer because you have to participate. And uh, that's what we need to get from you guys. Okay, I will open the breakup rooms, be ready. 
in practice. Okay, so do you have, for example, in which kind of topic would you like to, to work? I mean, the first of all, we have to identify a, a topic or, or something that that we want to work on. So, um, in this case, I propose it. What about if we design a, something like, for example, let me see. So we can use a checklist to evaluate each okay. needs in this assessment. Okay, let me try. In this case, we can use many questions and give a percent as um, no need, mm -hmm. need um, another punctuation right now. 
Yeah, I, I really understand what supposed we have to do, but in this case, I don't know in which specific topic we want to work on. So, um, the tra training personal? Yeah, it's good. Personal training. Okay, yes, please for me your position. The task. Mm. For example, if the people uh, can work in group and they could respond. Okay, so yes, I got, sometimes. I got an idea. Lack of communication in the teamwork. Yeah. Okay. So list the skills you'd like to hone. And the training option. Okay, but entonces para el primero ahorita se lo, the first one I'm going to read in the in the graph. Like of communication. Ahora, list the skill or the training option. Hmm. Create cash flow. Is at five the process the information collect with the instrument and identify the top three training needs identified by your co worker. Um, okay, okay, so the young promotion in the work, post yeah, maybe promotion. Communications. Okay. Improve the communication. Any telling meetings? Okay, give on more. Um, list the current skills you have to allow. Mm. Okay, continue with our topic. I don't know what do you think for this step, list the current skills that you have to allow you to perform the task. Hmm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. 
list the current schedule. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, this is the good job. And guys, do you have a question for a doubt about the activity? Uh, no teacher, I'm working in that. In the questions? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's good, right? So there are important questions to, to ask when we have to need assessment instrument. For example, what needs um, people have in the in the department? What questions we can ask? For example, are you having a tutoring, or are you having um, a following a follow up process? For example, when the managers ask you if you feel good, if you are stable with your work if you need something else that can help you to do a great job. So there are different questions that we uh, can ask to the employees to make sure that they are doing a great job or they have the best tools to do a great job. Because sometimes happen that some people complain because they say that they need something else. Oh, I cannot advance because I need this machine or I need to work with a schedule or I need an organized a schedule or something like that. So maybe questions that can help you to, you know, to ask. For example, this is an, uh, one example. How will your performance improve after the training? Ah, well, it's, it's good because I feel much better. So you can also check these questions. And also, if they are good for you, you can use it uh, in your conversation. Okay. And good manners. Teacher oh. and loss. <laughs> oh my god. Teacher. Hi. Teacher, I, 
I I I decide that the cell department because he's the Wendy's jobs is the, the department that he's his job. The questionnaire list skill that we have in the in the Wendy's position is that knowledge the monthly cell report, the good manner for cell in front of the customer, good communication with the manager and co-workers, organized person because you manage a product in the supermarket, inside the supermarket. And we have to decide or we have to show which training is according that the skill that we have in the department is correct or or not that no, we correct. have to do. <laughs> Sorry, I can hear you. Okay, we have to uh, ask add more questions to this um to these things. Can you go to the previous slide? Okay. Well, it says design a basic need assessment instrument. So you had to design uh, questions. You had to add more questions to this needs assessment instrument. So there are some questions that can help you, right? Okay. Also, you had to add more questions that can help you to evaluate your colleagues or classmates. It says coworkers. But in that case, this instrument will can be used to practice here in a class, right? So that's why you had to add more questions to this needs um, evaluation, right? That's what we had to do. It says that after that we add questions or the questioner, we're going to select some people and you will ask these questions. That's what we had to do. Okay, the question, oh, we have to prepare the question. Do you know the monthly sale report? Do you know the good manners for selling from the customer? Do you know, uh, or do you practice a good communication with the managers and coworker? You do you are, are a organized person? This is the questioner. Yes. Oh, just the question. <laughs> <laughs> because the goal is that you can ask them and they can you interview them. And oh, okay. I'm okay. Yeah. The, their point of view, their experience about these questions. Okay. Thank you, Fish. <laughs> so I think we will continue that uh, well, we're gonna check the attendance list and we'll continue tomorrow with that. We'll okay. Back to the main section right now. Okay. Okay, students, we're about to finish. In a briefly way, we're going to check the attendance list. You say present, and then we've finished. Okay, there are some students joining right now this um, the interview. Well, will we continue tomorrow working with the questions? I know that you were writing some good questions, and we will continue tomorrow working with that. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Uh, Ernesto Hernandez. Carlos Dominguez. Ah, okay. Carlos Dominguez. Uh, okay. Eh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Emerson. Yes, okay, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López. Present. Eh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Jose Salvador. Present. Okay. Present teacher okay. microphone was off. Okay, that's okay. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. 
I'm here. Okay. Uh, Josman, okay, thank you. Josman Atirio. It's not. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Uh, Nelson Alberto. Nelson. Osman Enrique. Rafael Alexander Serna. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. And Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Okay, guys, thank you so much for staying here in the class and see you tomorrow and have a beautiful night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night, good night for everyone. Night, you. Yeah, see you tomorrow.